Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have a last chance buy it now Christmas sale. So this is the last chance you see you'll get to see these items. Uh, there's going to be two price points. One is eight dollars. The other is twelve dollars. So I'm going to show the items, give a number associated with that item, and then the price. Be the first to claim it uh, down in the comments below, or if you prefer, you can send me an email. Um, I do get things in chronological order, so I'll know who asked for which item first. And if you have questions on any of the items, please feel free to leave those in the comments below also, or you can send me an email. And my email is in the description, although I think most people kind of know it's Sandy and Auto at uh, Comcast.net. <laughs> Thought I would include that one this time just to mix things up. And uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out more Buy It Now videos, when I do haul videos, and when I go live for my sales every Wednesday afternoon at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right. I'm going to start with the $8 items. First one is a napkin ring, a book holder, a picture holder, whatever you want to use this little metal holder for. Now it does have two crochet doilies here that are just hold, held on, there we go, by a ribbon. Um, easy to untie the ribbon. You can restring this and put um, any holiday doily in here. If you have some Easter themed, um, Thanksgiving, summertime, all that great stuff, um, just a round doily and you're in business and you can see how it's just strung on there. So a lot of fun that you can take this metal frame and interchange it with different kinds of doilies for any holiday display. This one just happens to be set up for Christmas and this is going to be $8.00. And it is number one, $8 number one. Next item is a planter. This is a ceramic planter done in an antique style where it is ivory, but then it's brushed with this kind of gold to give it more of an antique look for the poinsettias. Now this would be beautiful with a couple of small poinsettias in here, or um, if you prefer, you could put some uh, paper white bulbs in here. I think that would be lovely also. Some bigger bottle brush trees coming out would be a lot of fun too. Fill this with any kind of an assemblage you would like or some live plants would be great. This originally was done by FTD. And this is going to be $8, and it is number two, $8, number two. Next up, a still in its original package. This was $0.79 cents originally, and it is a 36 diameter fireproof glaze Tex Christmas tree skirt. So this is a fun display to have very vintage no barcode on this it was made by union wadding company and here is the back so it's so fun that it's still wrapped in its original packaging ready to add to a display this is going to be eight dollars and it is number three Next item is a plate. Now this looks to be a hobbyist painted plate, but they painted these carolers very nicely, Victorian style. Um, I will point out there might be just a teeny bit of paint loss right on the cap trim here of this caroler, but aren't they nice? Now the back is really fun also because it's a, like a confetti on the back. It is unglazed. And it is signed, there we go, Christmas 74GW. 
So a fun plate to display at Christmas time. This is going to be $8, and it is number four. Okay, then I have, this is a multi-use angel. She can be a tree topper. You can see she's got the plastic guard underneath. So if you have a smaller tree, she would be a nice tree topper. Or she does have string, so you can use her as an ornament. She was made in Taiwan, so she is a little older. She has red material with a lace overlay. And her hands and face are a bisque porcelain. You can see she's got a lace collar. Here's part of the dress and a harder plastic uh, pair of wings with some gold cording on it. And she is $8. Number five. Then I have a tin. This was done in 1984. I'm going to open it up here. So this was a 1984 Bristol Wear tin made in USA. And then you can see it says antique postcard uh, chromolithographs circa 1900. So we've got some authentic antique Santas here on this little tin and it's about four inches tall so it's on the smaller side but look at these fantastic santas they are so great giving out gifts decorating and then here's a bonus one on top and this is going to be eight dollars and it's number six. All right, next up, the set of three pot holders, thick doilies, however you want to use them. Again, they are on the thicker side, so they would be nice to use as uh, pot holders or um, hot pads. If you got a hot handle, you can grab it real easily. This is green and white. This one's a little bigger and it is red and white. And then this one is the biggest and it is red and white with some silvery thread through it. Here is the back. This one does have a hook for hanging. The other two do not. And all three, $8, number seven. Then I have another tin. This one has polar bears on it. Beautiful night sky. And then the polar bears are building a Christmas tree. So you can see they've got candles in their hands and then they've got the beautiful star on top. Now there are three of these images as you go around. And you can see a couple of the stars are a little brighter and maybe a couple shooting stars in there. The top also has the polar bears. Now this one is an older tin as it has a mark right down here that it was made in Taiwan, but it's in really nice condition. And it's about, I think six inches, yeah, six inches tall. And this is $8, and it is number eight. $8, number eight. All right. Now, I think that was the last of the eight, so I'm going to move into the $12 items now. And I'm going to start with Santa. So this is the no face Santa, but he's got a fantastic full beard, a beautiful velvet robe on, and his arms are wired, so they are posable. He's got fur trim 
on his stocking cap. And the rope goes all the way down to the bottom. And we've got more fur trim, faux fur trim, and a nice plaid insert, little belt. Now he is just a stick on a block, a dowel on a block, but this part of his body is a little full with something stuffed in there to give the upper part of his body here a little form. And so he is about 18 inches tall. And Santa is $12, number nine. So $12, number nine for Santa. Then I've got a patchwork stocking. It says joy. It's got lots of exposed stitching and um, buttons, little toy soldier, little train down here. The back is the same. And these are little stars. Now this is an older stocking and it is lined. So it's lined with a nice muslin material. And it is stuffed a bit with the quilting here with this older foam that was used. <laughs> Here's another example of that older foam that was sewn in. So it does have a little bit of a plushness to it because of that foam, but that design is so cute on the stocking. Again, if you've got like a nice little country theme going or just a like a quilting style of um, stocking. This is so fun, again, with all those little exposed buttons. And definitely something, if you wanted to, you could add a little embellishments to it. This is going to be $12, and it is number 10. Then I have a pair of candle holders. So these are kneeling praying angels. They are kind of a bisque ceramic. And you can see each one is just a little bit different than the other one. These were made in Taiwan. And the back here where their wings and cloud wings and clouds meet. Okay, that's not easy to say. That is where the candle holder is. And they are about five inches tall. And for the pair of them, they are $12, number 11. And then I think for my last item, yep, last item, is a stocking kit. So this is a counted cross stitch, chickadees and poinsettias, unopened. So this has never been opened. It is from 1986. Um, and it includes everything that you need to make this beautiful stocking. And this is $12, and it is number 12. Okay, and so those are all of the items for this sale. And again, if you are interested in claiming any of the items, just be the first to comment below or send me an email, and I'll reply back whether you've got it or if someone else has already claimed it. And uh, don't forget, if you have questions, please feel free to ask any questions that you have. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.